Garcia's Watford get the game underway. And immediately, Birdle knocks it long to try and then just out Moses. Who, uh, looked very rueful in the warm up, I must say. You know, a bit of a lucky charm for them. But it's only the five games they've lost, he's only started one of them. Holibas. Trying to tuck it in to Kuradini, Richarlison. Started the season so well. And ball to Jan Matt. That might be credit to Kure, who can hit them. He doesn't hit one of his best efforts there. Rather snatched at it. A little surprised that perhaps the shooting chance came his way. Yeah, what they are doing very well, Watford, they're winning them second balls. They're getting plenty of balls into the box, and when they're headed out, often not, it's Watford they're getting on the end of it. Goes to him nicely, and we know Decore he's hit the back back of the net a few times this season. Like you say, he just snatched at that when it was a good opportunity. One of those times uh, he has hit the back of the net was at Chelsea. Yeah, and Matt. Capu. For De Lefeu, cleaning up with him and others arriving. De Lefeu rams it into the net, but on the outside. There were some on the outside of the ground, they thought it was in. Once again, Watford pressing in the midfield, Bakayoko, the poor first touch. De Lefeu finds himself in a little bit of space. What's on the outside of David Luiz? Give credit to David Luiz. He sent him outside. He knows exactly what he wants to do. He doesn't want to allow him to go inside. He narrows the angle. Delefeu is just not able to get it on target, but a positive start from Watford so far. And from De La Feu in particular, which is uh, good news for the home supporters. Here's Rich Allison. Still going. And it's been spin away for a corner. And the Hazard left upfield, William just now coming out as well. He's got two against two, actually, if uh, Chelsea can deal with the corner. Well, they've got to do that, and they haven't done it at all. Oh, um, the movement was excellent, the contact wasn't from Troy Deeney. Yeah. You, you only have to look at the physical side of things. Deeney's been marked by Aspilicueta. Aspilicueta loses Deeney. He just can't get his angles right. Unless it was good corner, good bit of movement from Deeney to go away to that far post. Prude will give a slight block. Lost him, he nearly went to a different postcode. Yeah. <laughs> he did, but that tells you, obviously, he's fallen to Deeney's feet and he should do better there, and he'll know that. He can see from his reaction, but... The, the sizes of the team, finding Aspilicueta marking Dini. That's something that Watford will be mindful of and we look for Dini on all the set pieces. David Luiz got through to Pedro. Now Moses. The angle for the cross, it comes out to William. Well, it's a bit like Decore's effort at the other end, just a bit more relaxation make sure you hit the target neither did yeah we know that you can see Watford playing very narrow giving up the wide areas Moses does really well goes to Willian very nicely and we know the, the talent that he's got how good he uses in front of goal and once again a player snatching but a good opportunity very much a coached game these days especially at this level and Sometimes you wonder whether the players are under instructions to do the first corner like this, the second one, oh, it's a mistake by uh, Bakayoko, here's Richarlison. This is what we're talking about, the, the pace at which Watford are looking to close down. Bakayoko once again with a mistake, Richarlison gets away from David Luiz, but it's fantastic covering and Gary Cahill. You just see here, it's that. It's that unknown pass into midfield, not really looking, but Watford in particular with the front three that are joining in. You know, they're not allowing Chelsea any time or space in their own half. Makayoko again, the culprit in midfield. It's at least his third mistake in allowing uh, Watford to get possession in Chelsea's half. Free kick here. He's just not got up to pace with the game yet. As Kapu gets there before him. And this challenge, he just falls on him, and it's a painful one there because his ankle will have twisted. He's in a lot of discomfort. Here's Pedro. Nothing to 
traffic. Bakayoko has lost it again. Now, and Mike Dean is going to produce a second yellow card, followed by a red, and Chelsea are down to ten men. Well, it started badly for Bakayoko this evening, and it's got worse and worse, and he's off inside half an hour. And from Antonio Conte, the same applies. He doesn't duck the issue, referee Dean. There can be no argument. I think he started the game poorly. He didn't get up to up to speed with the game. Obviously, he got his first yellow card against Capu, and then this one, the second, and the sending off it was a late one. And Richarlison, it's just been it's been his game the first half, and now he's just not been up to speed in everything. And that was an overhit touch from himself, and he's just caught Richarlison from his touch. You can see he catches Richarlison there, and. I don't think Mike Dean really has any other option, and like I say, that tackle probably summed up Bakayoko's game, and then it's come to an early end. I'm surprised if they would have gone for another defensive midfield, they're in there because you know, they have been a little bit outnumbered. Someone like maybe Drinkwater coming on, they are quite light in that midfield area where Watford have been dominating. Richarlison well, did it well, but actually bending in towards Courtois. Made the save that much more comfortable. Pedro for press high. Zappa Costa, cleared by Cahill. Moses, and he's just stick it upfield. Chelsea in trouble here, but not yet on the scoreline. Home goals have been a problem for Watford. De La Feu might be in here. Oh, Mike Dean points for the penalty. A uh, great chance to open the scoring. Dalefeo has shown his speed in this first half and he was there too quick for the giant Chelsea goalkeeper. We talked about the energy of Dalefeo, the fact he's always looking to get in behind. It's exactly what he's done here. Yeah, man just plays the ball in behind the back three and gets ahead of Cahill. It is one of them ones where he hits it passing and then he's just waiting. He's waiting for a court try, he's waiting to get that touch. I don't think there can be any complaints. I think that is a penalty. There's contact from Courtois. He can plead his innocence, but in my mind, it's a penalty. And it just deserves Watford from the way they've played so far. Well, the penalty man is Troy Dini. Scored a couple this season. More than 100 goals for the club. Here he goes, and in it goes. Dini delivers. Ten man Chelsea are behind to a powerful penalty. And that's just what was missing for Watford up to that point in this first half. And thoroughly deserved. Yeah. And by the time Courtois decides to move, the ball's in the back of the net. He did it with great power. Courtois just watches and then goes down. And he'll be delighted to have a Garcia, but it's absolutely what Watford have deserved. They have dominated this game from the first minute. Chelsea, just as we look at the penalty here, it's a definite penalty. Courtois does catch him, he can plead his innocence, but it is a penalty. And that situation sort of sums up the first half so far. Here's Moses. And a hit back before half time. Pedro. They've got to maximise those kind of opportunities on the counter-attack. There was a swift break, and it really uh, threatened to take the smiles off Watford faces. Yeah, it was a quick break. Hazard drove over this side. It left them a little bit empty on the right-hand side. Mariapa does well, sends Pedro down the left-hand side. But another situation there from Chelsea. Pedro, the quality he's got, would be disappointed he wasn't able to get the shot on target. Dean still keeping his eye on what's going on in the middle. Bailefeu tries to skim it through. It wasn't far away. Another meaningful contribution from the Loney from Barcelona. Yeah, and he just held back. The rest of the Watford players went into the box. And he's just tried to find that far corner. I think give credit to Courtois. I think he had it covered. But nonetheless, a good effort from Bailefeu. Oh, that was David Luis who was caught in possession with Charlison. Sized up the chance and he knows it was a good one. He, 
he's just trying to play out from the back. Watford are not allowing them to do that. They will keep pressing them. And Courtois can just watch and hope, really, and Richarlison. It's a good effort for him, but Chelsea are guilty of doing that constantly. They're allowing Watford to go into him, but I think that's because of the simple fact that Chelsea, they have no choice but to play out from the back because they can't go long to beat the press because when you've got the likes of Prudel, Mariata and Holly Bass against Hazard when the ball's in the air, it's very difficult for them to compete with that. Point of view, have the gasket it away. Left one on Dale Feo, who was angry. Mike Dean uh, might uh, revisit that. And, uh, and the game goes on with Capu. Pedro is down. And uh, Cahill and David Luis rather lax in their own penalty area, more than rather. Uh, lucky that Yamat drags the shot wide. David Lewis. Nicely taken on the burst by Ducure. He's got David Lewis lined up here. And uh, the defender couldn't do anything, but fortunately for Chelsea, the goalkeeper could. It's brilliant from Ducure. It's his first touch, how he takes it on his chest here. When Dini gets it, just how he's going to handle this, and it takes it right into his stride gets him full pace and David Luiz is always backing off gives him the left hand side and it's a good save from Courtois great play initially from Dini presence of mind for Decore to actually gamble on it it's a great strike and a great save as well that's 2-2 the uninitiated here's uh, De La Feu Polybas has a go, and uh, Courtois makes light of it. It's a good strike. Oli Bass this time getting forward from that back three position. Used to seeing him in the wing back position. It's a good strike, but comfortable enough for Courtois. Cahill, no pressure on the ball. Doesn't reflect that really. Oh, by Yamad. Off goes De La Feu, he'll be quicker than Fabregas, and he knows it. And Fabregas is on a yellow card. Oh, the Kure, he's so good at taking it on the burst, we've seen that already this evening. Couldn't quite power away through. Jan Matt. Magnificent ball. Shot by uh, substitute Pereira. Fabregas. Moses, oh, they're overloaded out there, Chelsea. Some to cross into, they're trying to play their way through. Might just have done that with Hazard, Aspilicueta, Fabregas! That's the best move that Chelsea have put together tonight. And they've done it with ten men and they've very nearly equalised from it. Yeah, it was a fantastic move involving Hazard, Aspilicueta and Fabregas. Lovely little step over from Aspilicueta, creates a space for Fabregas. Give credit to Carnesis. He's gambled on where Fabregas is going to put it. He's saved well, but good play from Chelsea. You can't keep dropping deeper and deeper. Before you know it, you're in your own box, and that's not where you want to be. Balls are coming in and Giroud's around. It's worth switching Asper de out to the right-hand side. Taking a chance at the back, but they have to. Hazard will get there. Aiden Hazard. It's a magnificent equaliser. A special moment from a special player at a very daunting time for Antonio Conte. But Hazard has come, well, maybe to the rescue in terms of the result. They want more Chelsea. They've gone and got the ball out of the net. They think they can win this. Well, it's been coming. It's been coming. Chelsea have been on the front foot. I think the substitution of Giroud has given that extra attacking threat. You see Hazard, he gets on the ball. It's a lovely finish. The one thing I would say, though, you see this replay, Jan Matt doesn't know whether to stick or twist. He doesn't go to his man and gives Hazard the space. He gets on the wrong side of Mariapa. No goalkeeper saving that, but it's come about because Watford dropping deeper and deeper. You see that strike again. He couldn't have put it in a better position. And Chelsea have got their just rewards. And Watford now, well, against 10 men, could find themselves... talk about losing up. points from winning mm -hmm. positions. Yep. 
problem is now with Watford, it's an out-and-out -out back five, and that back five is dropping really deep. They're near enough on the edge of their own box. So that means that Hazard is able to get on the ball. We've seen him get on the ball, dictating play now. You know, and he's able to do what he wants to do. Now look at the gap between the back five and the midfield. It's huge. Does he get through that time? Kapu breaks it up and breaks out for Watford. And put Delefeu in. Well, that was a chance for an instant riposte and get the lead back quickly. It's a fantastic break from Kapu. They win it in the midfield area. Delefeu goes into the wide area, creates space for Kapu to go into, and then he makes a lovely run clearly on side and just goes at it with his right foot so he's always just tried to dink it over the outside of his foot trying to get his instead of trying to get his foot around it well, it's going to be a fantastic finale here Jan Matt gets it back again he's walls through it's a wonderful goal for Watford by Daryl Jan Matt the architect and the scorer It's got Antonio Conte rocked back again. And Chelsea were looking for the win and now looking down the barrel of defeat again. Well, a player that's come under a lot of criticism recently, but he's been magnificent all game. And he plays a lovely one too with Pereira. Wrong for Saspilicueta. And you've got to say that's a centre forward finish. From Chelsea's point of view, they've got a number of players back, but nobody tracks Jan Matt. Nobody tracks him, and it's a great finish, but defensively from Chelsea, they're at sixes and sevens. They're all just watching the ball. No one tracks Jan Matt, and it's all about the touch that takes him away from Cahill and Aspilicueta, and it's a lovely finish. It gives Courtois no chance. Chelsea for, were level for two and a half minutes. He's got his lead back, and the team that stumbled in the sight of victory have found their footing again. Oh, what a response. Absolutely brilliant response. Mariapa. Zappa Costa. Hazard. Yeah. Mariapa going in, Hazard feeling that he might have been fouled. But they can uh, really kill off Chelsea here with Dale Payo. Dini with him, used Dini as a decoy. And that is the perfect ending from the player of the night. Gerard De La Feo, take a bow, son. He set the tempo. He won the penalty by which Watford led for much of the game. And now he's come up with the insurance goal and a real contrast in emotions here. As we said at the beginning, Danny, this is a manager at the start of his time. And are we looking at the, uh, the end game for Antonio Conte? Yeah, quite possibly. But for De La Feu, he's even telling him, he's even telling Troy Dini where he wants to go. This is a great run from Troy Dini. He takes Cahill out of the area he wants to be in. Delafay who takes full advantage of it. He's saying to Dini, this is where I want you to go. Stay out of the way, leave me one-on-one. -on -one. But then Dini makes that run, crosses Cahill, opens a space. And the deflection took it into the corner, and that's the way it's been going for Chelsea. And as debuts go, doesn't get much better than that. Well, home debuts go, it doesn't get much better than that, does it? For the scorer and for the boss. in the table but only three points out of the relegation positions this is a it's a wonderful night and they haven't beaten Chelsea in any competition this century but they're on the cusp now and they might get another one here with Pereira they have done well, we said it would be some finale, but I don't think any of us expected anything quite like this. Chelsea heavily beaten in the end, almost as if the equaliser was the worst thing that could have happened to them. Absolutely brilliant from Watford. Not happy with two, not happy with three, 
and they get the fall. But it's brilliant, it's the running off the ball, it's the way they win the ball back as well. It's the newcomer Correa who actually wins the ball back, and it's a lovely run from Pereira, and he just, he halts the shot. Just as he's about to shoot, he stops, he creates a little bit more space, and takes Aspilicueta, it's just here, he stops, doesn't shoot, wrong foot Aspilicueta, and in the same time, wrong foot Courtois. But Chelsea looking to chase the game, left themselves so isolated, but Pereira by just pausing that shot and waiting, open it up even more, and you you've could, got to say, you what say a performance from it, Watford. I'm sure he'd love the chance, and he's a very capable man. And it's Giroud! Oh, that was a chance for his first Chelsea goal. Set up by a fine header by Hazard. They got it the wrong way round, really. I was going to say, it's role reversal. Great play from Hazard. Giroud keeps himself on side. But Carnese has not had much to do. He's done really well there to keep it at 4-1. Well, it's a wonderful win for Watford and Javi Gracia. It's a dreadful night for Chelsea. Antonio Conte is seen down to 10 men in the first half at 0-0 nil -nil as Bakayoko sent off. Then they conceded a penalty before half-time. De La Feo brought down by Courtois, and he was the catalyst for so much that was good about Watford tonight. Aiden Hazard struck a brilliant equaliser, but Watford's response was better still. With Daryl Yanmat, De La Feo himself, and then... Roberto Pereira getting in on the act with a late flurry of goals that gives a scoreline that will resonate around the Premier League and around the football world of Watford 4, Chelsea 1. I know this video was good, so if you like this, you'll definitely like this one.